I have not said a word. I have been tired. I have been quiet. But you want this work. I'm going to give it to you. It's been years and Omarion is still salty that April Jones moved on with his arch nemesis. While April has had enough and she just sent a very strong warning to Omarion to keep her name out of his mouth after he recently put her on blast and humiliated her in an interview with Jason Lee. April claims Omarion is still clinging on to their failed relationship, even though they broke up over seven years ago. According to April, Omarion goes around talking about her in every interview, like he's the victim, even though he abused and cheated on her during their relationship. Perception of, oh, when he's out, but you not hanging out with this man every day, you don't see the yeah, life he's see living, you don't. Okay, so if y'all been keeping up with Omarion and April's very messy feud, then you know they've been going at it for some time now, even though their relationship ended years ago. Now they started dating back in 2011 and broke up in 2016, but ever since then, they've been throwing shots at each other every chance they get. April even accused Omarion of ditching her after she had their second child without giving her any proper reason as to why he was leaving her. She said, he decided to leave without explanation and I was forced to have to pick up the pieces of my life. I had numerous amounts of days where I wanted to give up going through court stuff, dealing with being the only one here in Los Angeles with no family or support being forced to have to move into a space with two little kids with no explanation because my partner decided he didn't want his family anymore. But things got even messier when April started dating Omarion's ex-bandmate Lil Fizz. And y'all already know, Omarion and Fizz hate each other. Well, April and Fizz rubbed their relationship in Omarion's face and even went as far as to getting their own show on Love & Hip Hop and not giving a single care in the world what anybody thought of it, including Omarion. People dragged April to filth and accused her of using Fizz to get back at Omarion. Now he later revealed that one of the major reasons he didn't react to April and Fizz's relationship at the time was because of the kids. I could be acting a damn fool right now, but is that the best thing to do? Of course, having children and just keeping that in perspective and knowing it's not all about you, that really helped me just maintain my position. You just have to know yourself well enough to know what's important. And when you do that, things just don't get in your way. You don't allow them to. At the time, April clapped back at Omarion in an interview with Nick Cannon, where she accused Omarion of being salty about her successfully moving on from their failed relationship, even though he's the one who abandoned her and them kids. It's not so bitter. Right. You know, he left me, but he seemed like he really mad that I kind of just flourished outside of that relationship, which is fine. OK, cool. I'm not mad. Right. I'm not the one serving papers. I'm not the one, you know, making it hard on him. I try to be cool. Omarion was later asked in an interview why he never married April while they were together. And he said it was because April was only after his money and he wasn't interested in splitting half his assets with her in case they got divorced. No, no, I'm just okay. I'm just unconventional and I don't really um, subscribe to, you know, um, the, uh, the the marriage business business concept. Mm -hmm. OK. Yeah, it's not really beneficial for a person like me. To, to mm -hmm. work hard and then split half with someone else. Oh, so it's a financial decision. Um, yeah, and, 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 and also, and, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what the, y'all want me to be out here like some of these other cats? No, 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 that's not what we working hard for. <laughs> but wouldn't that be that there's a level of distrust? Because it's not the marriage that makes you lose half, it's the divorce that makes you lose half. Yeah, which, you know, um, you know, it, it, that it's, that could happen. You know what I mean? I don't even want to put myself in that position. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, child, that's just messy. Well, April and Fizz eventually broke up, with April claiming Fizz was not successfully invested into the relationship. 
After this whole mess, April and Omarion agreed to stop coming for each other for the sake of their kids. However, the feud recently escalated after Omarion said some very nasty things about April in his interview with Jason Lee. During that interview, Omarion opened up about April's relationship with Fizz and why he decided to forgive the both of them even after they publicly betrayed him. Fizz dating April. Mm -hmm. You get betrayed in public mm -hmm. and still give people grace. Yeah. And you might be dancing Omarion, singing Omarion. You a <laughs> from Inglewood. <laughs> So you know what that means, right? I don't know what it is. I'm gonna let you tell me, but okay. what is that where you did not come unhinged? That we all reap what we sow, you know what I mean? And whatever energy and whatever we're intent that we create, you know, especially if it's a negative one, you're gonna get it back tenfold. Pain hit different when you gotta sit in it, you know what I'm saying? And I felt that one. But as you can already imagine, April was not here for that. And she went off on Omarion. April was really upset about how Omarion talked about her in that interview. She felt like he was making her out to be a bad person when he actually was the reason their relationship never worked out. She even went as far as to accuse Omarion of being a during their relationship. Y'all got it confused. Y'all be sitting here looking at people like, well, this is his, and he's a great person. You don't fucking know that person. You ain't fuck him. You ain't sleep. You ain't like, stop. If a man or a woman does not want to be exposed, then start being good to the people that you are with. Why would you think that a person that you treated like utter shit is supposed to protect you? But that is what we do. I refuse to do it anymore. I am 36. If you want to hold the other side accountable, any interviewers, any blogs, I am here. I stand tall. I stand firm. Give me an opportunity to speak my mother truth and put that other person across from me to say he is. And I bet you what they're saying in that room will not be what it will be when I'm sitting in front of them. And that's what y'all need to do. A good blogger, a good interviewer, a good, all of it. Work, do the job. Now people were not here for this at all and they dragged April to filth on social media because they felt like Omarion said nothing but the truth. One person said, April, it will always be weird that you hooked up with Fizz, period, point blank. No need for the long rant. Another person said, she smashed his childhood friend. I don't think she really got the space to talk right now. However, while some people were putting April on blast, other people felt like she was actually right for expressing the way that she felt because they don't get why Omarion is still speaking on the issue and trying to villainize April, even though she and Fizz broke up years ago. And according to April, Omarion is just using her for clout to sell his book, King of Unbothered. Now, for those of you who didn't know, Omarion actually released a book some months ago, detailing the whole messy love triangle between him, April, and Fizz. However, the book has not been making any noise whatsoever. And according to April, Omarion is just bringing up all these things to give his book some publicity. In fact, during his interview with Jason Lee, Omarion promoted the book and claimed that April's betrayal was actually what motivated him to write it. I gotta thank April because she inspired that book. I think that she uh, challenged just my emotional intelligence. Ciao. Not Omarion being that messy. I mean, I get that April and Fizz betrayed him, but like, why bring it up now? After y'all agreed to stop talking about it for the sake of your kids. Omarion kept saying in every interview how he didn't want to speak on the issue, but that's all he ever does. People also pointed out the fact that despite him always talking about Fizz and April's affair, he's never addressed the claims that April made about him abandoning her and the kids. With no explanation, a lot of people feel like Omarion is the problem and he has been able to fool everybody into thinking he's the victim simply because of how he handled the situation publicly. 
one person said, I believe her. Like him, play in your face, but make everybody around y'all think he's this great peaceful being. Another person said, I never believed Omarion was a good person after April detailed the way he left her without explanation and refused to speak to her. That's emotional abuse if it went the way she explained it. But y'all know what time it is. I want to know what you think. How do y'all feel about April warning Omarion to keep her name out of his mouth? And is Omarion really the problem? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.